everyone, it's Lisa. Happy Friday. I hope that you have had a wonderful week. It has been so pretty here. It's been windy, but it has been so sunny, and I have been in the yard so much. Yesterday, John took off work, and he helped me. So we potted, well, we went to Lowe's, and I bought some plants and things that are hard for me to get, even in, I have a X5 BMW, so it's like an SUV, but it's still hard to get some of those great big pots because some of those tropical plants it's like they're not that big but they're in a great big pot so anyway he went with me and they were sold out of most of the things i want but we bought some other things and then he helped me pot some of those in those great big pots so we did that and a lot of things that i got this week are for the porch and for outdoors so i will hmm I will list those things down below and maybe I'll show you some pictures up here while I'm talking. One thing I got is I wanted some new doormats and I wanted to do the thing where you kind of do the double mat where you put, you pick a rug, they tell you like a three by five, but it depends on your door. Like if you have a double door, you're going to do a bigger rug, but I just have a single door and so I did like a three by five rug that I found at Target. And then you put the mat on top of that. It's kind of just like having a mat or a frame for a picture. And so I purchased two front door mats to see which ones I like the best or which one I like best. And then the other one I just put back. And one of them says, I think it says be happy. And you guys know I'm into bees because John's dad was a beekeeper, so it's kind of like a little thing. And then the other one just says, real plain, it says, you look good. And I just thought that was so cute. You know, there's all, on Etsy and stuff, there's all kinds of different ones. I believe I got the, did I get them both? I think I got both of those off of Amazon. And then I've actually ordered another one from Ballard. So if it gets here, I will put it down below too. Otherwise, I'll just save it because I don't know which one I will end up with. I've taken a little poll. I asked Brooke. I asked my mom. I asked my friend Michael. Right now, the B one is at the front. Then I'm also going to show you the show you pictures of the bench and the chair that I got because I love that retro look, kind of like the bench that's on my back porch. And that one, I just, I like it back there and it really needs to be, it's rusted, it needs to be sanded and painted. And I really wanted it to be painted that two-tone again. So I might get somebody professional to do that. I'm gonna check into it. So I have just really enjoyed my flowers, being outside, even just being outside, we planted. I bought a Rose of Sharon, a blue one. I planted that, or John planted it for me. And um, so that's what I've been doing most of the week. I bought shepherd's hooks and hanging baskets and all that kind of stuff. So I don't have a whole lot of makeup or anything to show you. I feel like I'm going to let you down a little bit, but I do have two pair of shoes. And then I have, you know, that package I told you from H&M where I forgot what was even in there. I had ordered it so long ago. So I'll show you those things. And then I know I have a package coming from Beautylish today. I think I have one coming today and one coming Monday or maybe tomorrow. But if I get a lot of things today, then I will do another you know, video this weekend because I ordered some of the new Wayne Goss. I think I ordered all of the lip liners, all of the glosses. Maybe not. I can't remember. It was according to what I, I ordered all of the lip liners because it was a bundle and then I we could only order a few of the lipsticks and glosses, I think, because I think they were sold out by the time. I signed up for the email, and then by the time I got it, a lot of the stuff was gone. So, anyway, I know that you're probably curious about those like I am. Okay, so let's start off with first is this ring. This is my new Dean Davidson Castle Ring to go into my Castle Ring collection, and this is the Citrine. And I am just crazy about it. I love, it's just the most beautiful shade of yellow. And I love how clear it is. And it's just, I love it. I think it's so pretty. And I love how it goes with the gold. I'm wearing my other bracelets that I've shown you before. And then he sent me some of his Lagos collection. So this is the Lagos cuff, I believe. And it's like the hinge 
I love things that are easy to put on like this. And these are the studs that come with the collection. I couldn't decide if I wanted to wear these or the hoops that he sent me. Here are the hoops. So they are like really small, but I love the, it's kind of reminds me of like a pebble or like a river rock because it's smooth. It's like a rock or something that has been smoothed on the edges and it's the brushed gold. And so I feel like it gives you a little bit more, it's kind of like that chunky jewelry done in a very feminine, classy way, which is his, his way. So let me put this on the other ear so I can show you these too. Okay, so here are the hoops. So you have to tell me which ones you like. The studs, there's just sometimes I love just putting a nice, simple earring like this on that's not a dangle or not a hoop, but I always love a hoop. And if you have your ears pierced twice, this is the perfect size to go in that second or do this and then just do a plain gold bead. I've always thought about piercing my second holes when I'm scared. I just don't know. I don't know if I would want that. I kind of like being simple. And that's kind of different now for someone, especially, gosh, you meet some people that don't have their ears pierced at all. That is crazy. <laughs> and then another part of the collection is this necklace. And I do know there is a bracelet that has this design, but I just really liked this cuff and I knew it would go well with the bracelets that I have on. And I'm not taking these off. All of the jewelry, except for the Dean jewelry, I'm taking showers in, I'm sleeping in because I have found that is what I like to do with some basic pieces like this and then you can add other things on and stack with it. And then heading into shoes, I got this pair of Schutz. You may recognize them. They look almost exactly like the pumps that I have in this version. But I kept looking at these and thinking this might be more of a, I say practical, but more of an easy option in the summertime because I love like the whole mule. I love the squared off toe. This actually has like the thong sandal, but it doesn't really show. It looks more like a mule. And I just loved this whole mesh trend so much. I loved this color. I just love these and I think they're so pretty. So I thought about wearing these today, but I'm going to show you in reality what I'm going to wear, but I will show an outfit with these. And then the next pair of shoes I got, I found when I was in Target because I went in Target looking at their, actually I got two really pretty pots there in the garden department, even though it was so sold out. I mean, everywhere I went was just kind of, some places are just opening like Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and they're only letting like X amount of people in. But um, Target was just so sold out. And then when I went to Lowe's, their tropical plants were sold out. She said that they need to restock from Mother's Day. But anyway, when I was in Target, I went to look through the shoe aisle. Most of the time I'm looking for Brooke because she loves Target shoes. And I usually find little cute sandals and stuff for her. But I found these and I just thought these were so pretty. And I'm not typically, this isn't usually the look that I go for. I prefer a just a sleeker, not as chunky, clunky look. But to me, these just looked really pretty. And they reminded me of shoes that I wore when I was in like fifth, sixth grade, junior high. I always loved like the espadrilles. I had, I don't know if you guys that are my age remember the whimsies, the little ballet wedges that had like a little bow right here. I had the navy blue pair and I just thought I was something when I wore those because they had a little bit of a heel. Then when I was trying to decide what shoes I wanted to wear, I thought about these, my Javianas that I have in this, terra I believe they're called terracotta. I will try to find the exact ones and put them down below, but I bought these last year. And of course I don't wear them as much as I've worn the black ones, but I think that they're so pretty and I think that they'll go with this dress that I have on that I'm getting ready to show you. So I'll be right back. So this is a dress that I got from H&M and, and then I purchased this little nightgown. I love the ones that go up like this from H&M. And then I purchased these from their light shapewear collection and they come in a pack of two. I have the other ones on right now and so far so good. They're not crazy crazy they're not like Spanx they're more they're a very very light control smoothing okay and then I purchased this little black dress that has the belt it's just a real simple 
dress and it has the flare on the bottom kind of like this one does and then I got the same dress that I have on in black so you can see it has like the double straps and then they crisscross in the back have I got them messed up here yeah I do but it does like that in the back it's hard to see with the black and then I think this is what, when I saw this, I think this is what inspired this whole little, what will happen is I'll see something on someone go and then end up buying a few other things just because I get caught on there. But in the fro, in the front row, in the fro, she had this on from H&M and I just loved it. It's just like a big boxy cardigan and I love like the crystal buttons see how they're flowers they're just so pretty i love them that is just going to look so good with over a black dress or with some black dress pants and it's not a summer sweater i will say that unless you are in a cold you know a much colder climate because it feels like it's got a little bit of a 50 percent polyester 19 percent acrylic 13 alpaca and 13 wool five elastane so it's a nice sweater, but it's gonna to be too hot for now, but I just loved it. Okay, so one more fabulous thing. I got a new package from House of Siage. They sent me their new After Dark Beauty and Fragrance Mystery Vault. And it's by Nicole Mather, the founder and CEO of House of Siage. I was thanking Alex for everything, and he said the mystery vault may slightly differ per each person from Nicole's kit, but will mostly stay consistent overall. It's the lipstick case and the colors that will switch up from time to time and so I wanted to show you they sent me some chocolates in here and when I opened the box I immediately smelled where's my candle and they had like the uh, rose petals in there but this is the Nuit Sensuelle. Hey guys it is still Friday it is 2 53 and I, <laughs> I don't know where to begin, but when I was editing my video, I realized that my card was full, which rarely ever happens to me, but my card was full and I didn't get the whole end of my video. Typically, I wouldn't tell you all this, but you just have to laugh. Then I came downstairs to do it again and I noticed that my speaker is not picking up as well as I want it to. So I'll probably order another one, but I decided to try one of these, like some people use, you know, putting it on my little lapel and all that stuff. And I was talking to you and the FedEx man pulled up. And last night, John was sending a package back. He was returning a monitor that had gone bad. And so he said, I'm gonna put this on the porch when the FedEx man comes tomorrow, see if he'll pick it up. He had put a note on it too. So without even thinking, I'm not used to having that microphone on my chest, I just jumped up, went over there to talk to the FedEx man, drug my camera off the table, the battery flew out, and just, you know, and it was a mess. So I just had to leave. I had to just get up and I went to Chick-fil-A and got some chicken strips. I got Will some lunch and now I'm back and so I sat down here to try to do this. I picked up a tissue that I had here, just sitting here, and went to blot with it and realized it was one that I had taken off lipstick with my Good Molecules. So I don't even know, it's just one of those days. But we are gonna do this again, right now, because we're all friends here and I know you guys understand. <laughs> So, what I wanted to tell you about in the end, and I'm not even sure where I left off, I think I was talking about my House of Siage mystery vault box. Here we go. The After Dark Beauty and Fragrance Collection. And this After Dark Mystery Vault, which is a $1,908 value that you get for $954, you will get guaranteed in this box. Each box includes at least $1,908 of value of luxurious products and is guaranteed to contain a limited edition fragrance valued at $1,210 and a bow lipstick case valued at 198 
So I can't remember if I've already shown you the fragrance that I got. It is beautiful, just like they all are. And the limited edition ones come in this fancy box like this. There's actually a box in a box. And this is the one that I got. And it is Nuez Moy. And it is a patchouli and rose scent. Oh my goodness, it is so sexy. It is a sexy, sexy scent. It's definitely, for me, it would be a nighttime scent, even though I've worn it all day today. But it's, uh, like I said, patchouli with rose, but not a lot of rose. It's almost like a patchouli base, just really with a sexy feminine edge. It is just a beautiful scent and bottle. And then you will get one of the bow lipstick cases. And I wanted to go ahead and tell you about this. When Tammy wore the Baroness the other day in her video, I was going through all of my lipsticks. And the thing is, once you have put a lipstick in this case, when you take it out to see which one it is, there was no way of telling. So I think I told you guys the wrong one. I think I was wearing Baroness also in my fragrance video. And so I asked Alex, the representative, and I'll link his channel down below too, you know, was there a way to tell? And he said, well, you read our mind. Now they're gonna start labeling the lipsticks so that when you do change them and put them in the case, you will be able to tell which one's in there. So that'll be great. And then he also told me that they're coming out with five different new shades and he's gonna send those to me. So when they come out, I will make a video on those. I wanted to go ahead and tell you too that if you are not ready to spring for the fancy case, you can definitely just buy the lipstick by itself because the colors are amazing. And he told me that, I asked him, was Baroness the lightest one? And he said, yes, Baroness is the lightest one. Let me swatch it for you. Next lightest one is Night. Is that what I've got here? Yes, Night. And I think Night is just a little bit, it's a little bit darker, but it's still got, it's still a nudie peach tone. Just beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? They're just so, they have that perfect amount of sheen. They remind me of Tom Ford lipsticks, um, Christian Audette lipsticks, uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, and not a lot of fragrance at all. They're not as perfumey as like a Chanel, a Dior, or a YSL at all. I think you guys would really, really love these lipsticks. So even if you do not want to spring for the case, try one of these because they're beautiful. And I'll show you those new colors when they come in. Okay, so now let's go into my favorites. This, like I just mentioned, was one of them. It's the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm. It is probably this and the Colleen Rothschild are my favorites as far as cleansing balms go. This one is not as scented and it's not, doesn't seem to be quite as oily, but it is. It does still, it, this is a little thing it comes with and then you have to take off this, which I hate doing that, but I want to be able to keep this in there. And so I usually just get a little bit and it's more of a waxier texture. And then what I do is put it straight on my face. I haven't taken off any makeup or anything. Usually I'll take off my lashes and I will just go right in with this and break up all of my makeup, really get into my lashes and take off my liner and mascara and then get in the shower, you know, the hot water and everything and just rinse my face off and then use my cleanser in there. So I'm doing like a double cleanse and I love it. I will have no mascara marks when I get out. It just works so much better than just trying to do one cleanse. And um, love that. I really think you guys would like this. And then another favorite this week, I think I've worn it most every day, I think this week, and it is the Armani Power Fabric Long Wear High Cover Foundation. And I have the shade 6. It is beautiful. It is a really good, here I'll go ahead and swatch it and then I'll just use this to take it off. Let me see if you can see that color. See how it's just olive enough. It's not, it's just the perfect tone. It's like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like olivey, 
golden with no peachy or no red not too neutral it's kind of like the color of your skin after you've already gotten a tan and it's been like a week where you've got that just good base tan that's the color of it it's just so pretty i love it it goes good with all of my concealers and um see now i would just take this and this will break up all of that makeup and then you can just it just comes right off you like that so that was definitely one of my favorites this week i love it and i don't know if i already told you but it has spf 25. and then i had one more what else was it oh my bronze goddess when i showed you guys this i think i had just gotten it and i did not realize how beautiful this bronzer and highlight palette is first of all this highlight is gorgeous i mean it's perfect for mature skin and it just gives a little bit of a sheen but not a sparkle it is just gorgeous i hope that you can see that and the bronzers are so much prettier than the typical i've gotten the bronze goddess bronzer many times and it's kind of like a reddish tone this is just like that foundation it is like that great tan tone that's just not too neutral not too warm and it's just beautiful and a lot of times i'll take a big brush like a big bk beauty brush and swirl it around and just go all over my face at the end it's just so pretty and i think you guys would really like that and that is it so i hope you guys have a good weekend actually i got one package and we'll see if i get i think this has some of the wayne goss uh, lip liners and lipsticks i'm hoping that maybe tomorrow i will get the glosses and i'm going to do a video tomorrow too so i'll see you then thank you for watching thank you for putting up with me <laughs> and all my lucy lucille ball antics and i will see you tomorrow bye bye